Hello all my Hollow Maniacs out there. Welcome back to the channel. It's so great to see you again. Uh, yes, as you can see, I've got little Sandy, Sandy Lilybell here. She's grown quite a bit since her last video debut on the channel. But yeah, I have noticed since I've gotten her that she responds sometimes to the strange noises that I make. Uh, really, the big ones that she responds to that I know of right now are whistling, so... Yeah, see, she like pops her head up. She's like, what was that? So I, if I ever can't find her somewhere, I just whistle and she comes running. Then also mouth trumpet, I've noticed. So I do like my... And <laughs> she's just like, daddy, what are you doing? So I was curious. I'm like, well, what other voices and sounds does she respond to? How does my dog react to impressions? Because I've actually never tried that with her. So, you guys are here to help me experiment and find out what voices she responds to, if she responds to any. But before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Mickey Travels. And thank you, Mickey Travels, for sponsoring this video. So, Mickey Travels is a Disney travel agency that's all about making sure that you get the best Disney vacation possible. Whether that be one of the Disney theme parks, Cruise Line, Adventures by Disney, you name it, they can help you book it. And these guys are Disney experts. They know everything that there is to know about Disney. So you can know that they're going to make sure that you get the most out of your time at any Disney vacation. They can work hard to book you flights. They can help you book hotels, dining, fast passes. Sandy, what are you doing? And they also work hard to make sure they can get you discounts so that you might even be paying less for your Disney vacation than you thought. And on top of that, they do not charge you anything extra to book all this stuff for you. So basically, you just have to pay the normal price of a Disney vacation. How awesome is that? And you get all the expert advice you want. So if you're interested, head down to the description of this video and fill out a free quote today to see if you can make your Disney vacation come true. Or you can go up to my YouTube channel and click the link in the banner to fill out a free quote today. All right, Sandy, what should we start with first? I have a feeling just right off the bat, the higher pitched the voice is, the more likely she's gonna respond. So let's just, let's go with Mickey. I have no idea what's gonna happen, so. Ah, uh, hi there, Sandy. No, oh. Boy, it's your old pal Mickey. Are you doing anything? I can't tell. You ran behind me. Sandy! Ah, uh, hi Sandy. Sandy! Oh, toodles! Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that did something? Ah, uh, hi there, pal. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, Mickey left her completely unfazed. Okay, so let's try Donald. Well, this got this gets her attention. She's not doing anything about it. Oh, there she goes. How about Elmo? Okay, okay, Elmo, she really gets Elmo, okay. She's just like, oh my gosh, Elmo. All right, uh, let's, oh, uh, what are you going over there for? Sandy, the camera's over here. All right, let's try Darth, let's go the opposite way now. Let's try Darth Vader. <sighs> Sandy, the force is strong. <laughs> I don't even know anymore if she's like responding to the voices or she just wants to play. I don't know. Thank you, Sandy. I needed, I needed the extra glove. <laughs> I needed the extra glove. <laughs> Look, Sandy. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. That's not working. It's gonna take me forever to edit this because she does not want to stay put. She just wants to keep running around. And now she's laying on my leg. Who knows, maybe I can get a voice that gets your attention so much she'll run, run off my legs and come back to my face. Okay, let's try another high-pitched character. Naga Krista! <laughs> oh, Hannah. Oh, Hannah means family. Oh, Nothing, and she's like, I think she's trying to curl up for a nap. Are you a good nap? You were just running around earlier. You already tired? Hmm. What about Hulk? Hulk smash! Nothing. Are you already done? We did like five voices. We didn't even do that many. Are you already done? Alright, let's try 
something else. Well, how about Winnie the Pooh Bear? Does that do anything at all? Nope. Well then, how about Tigger? <laughs> Does Tigger elicit a response? <laughs> As I was doing Tigger, my tongue shot out and I licked her nose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe there was something to Tigger. I think it was that. <laughs> I think that got her attention. Uh, well, in that case, let's do some more spitting characters. I think that'll probably get her attention. <laughs> Buffering <laughs> Buckatath. <laughs> Buffering <laughs> Buckatath. <laughs> oh, hey, no biting, Sandy. No biting. I've been. You, you know, I've been training you on that. You're making it look like I haven't trained you at all. I have actually trained her a lot. She actually does really well with the biting, just not when she's on camera. She gets on camera and she decides that, hey, I want to show the world that I can bite. And yeah, go behind the couch too. She loves to go behind the couch. Good news is I can get her back out. Well, that got you out, didn't it? <laughs> Does your daddy love you? Your daddy loves you. Do you love your daddy? Oh, thank you, baby. All right, let's come up with some other ones. I mean, we're in Looney Tunes, so let's do like Bugs Bunny. Me, <coughs> what's up, Doc? Me, <coughs> what's up, Doc? Me. <coughs> See, that near gets her. Okay. Uh, what about Yo, Simmerty Sam? You fell off my butt. And she's like looking up from my butt like, hello world. Why do you keep going to my butt? Can you give daddy like five more minutes and then you can go take a nap? I will go take a nap with you. A nap sounds great right now. How about Pumba? That's so hard to do lying down. Slimy yet satisfying. <laughs> that got her. She's just like, what are you doing daddy? You're really loud. Yeah, Pumba's very, very loud. Oh gosh, who are you there, Sandy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 gosh. I thought I saw a putty tat. I did. I did see a putty tat. Ah, I'm... Okay, you didn't like the hand. Ah, okay. SpongeBob gets her attention. Ah, I'm ready. And she goes back to my legs. Now, I, I can't do this and not talk to her like some dog characters that we know, so... Hi, Sandy. My name is Doug, and I have just met you, and I love you. Hello, Sandy. My name is Doug. I have just met you, and I love you. Do you love me? <laughs> Keep standing at me like I'm Pride Rock or something. <laughs> Randy. Randy. Okay, now her name is Randy, apparently. Randy. <laughs> Ruby Dooby Doo. Yeah, nothing. Mm, strong with the force you are, young Sandy. Ready to face Vader? You are not. Yes! All oh, these voices are terrible from this angle. Try doing impressions lying on your belly. It's really pretty diff it's really pretty difficult. Okay, how about King Julian, huh? Will you give me King Julian? How about that? Would that would that do anything? No, it did nothing. Oh, I got it, Chewbacca. That's probably gonna get her attention. <laughs> No, uh, I'm surprised. That did nothing. So, okay, I think we're done. She's just getting tired now. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Well, Sandy, don't you want to say bye bye? You say bye bye? You say bye? Well, that's close enough, I guess. Okay, bye!